Hi, I'm Pat Ottensmeyer, President and CEO of Kansas City Southern. One of the things I value most about Kansas City Southern is that we're defined by our unique vision and independent spirit. More than 130 years ago, our founder looked at a landscape filled with many other railroad companies, each scrambling to build rail networks running east and west across America. And he asked, what if, and wondered, where? What if we built a railroad in an entirely different direction? one that cuts across the grain of conventional wisdom. And where might that vision ultimately lead us? Mr. Stilwell and the countless railroaders who have followed in his footsteps at this great company have always thought and acted independently, sought opportunities in the unexpected, and owned the outcomes of their bold choices and actions. Among these actions, safety must always be our first priority. Even now, the curiosity to constantly ask what if and where remains an important attribute of KCS and our employees. Today, as employees of a visionary cross-border transportation network, we continue to value the importance of navigating our own path. That's why we're embarking on a new journey in the history of Kansas City Southern and Kansas City Southern de Mexico. Just like our company's founding, this journey is also based on the questions what if and where. What if we change the way we live and practice safety? And where does safety start? On this safety journey, each of us will navigate the greatest single decision we face each day. And that is, do we decide to work safely because the rules and regulations say we must? Or does each of us accept accountability for our safety and choose to make safe decisions so that we can experience and enjoy the things that matter most in our lives, our families, our homes, and our health? Every journey requires a purpose, a destination, and a starting point. And that's why we've chosen Safety Starts Here as the theme for this safety initiative. On this journey, safety is our common purpose. We all want to eliminate incidents and injuries from our railroad, protect our coworkers, care for the environment, and safeguard the public. Putting safety first will guide us in that purpose. And safety is our ultimate destination. Each day, we all want ourselves and our coworkers to return to the safe harbor of home and to work an injury-free career. When it comes to identifying the starting place for this safety journey, that comes down to you and to me and to the value we each place on our own safety and the safety of those around us. So on this safety journey, we all face one question we must answer. Where does safety start? Before the saw blade touches the rail, safety starts here. Before I drop these arms, safety starts here. Before I ever strike a torch, safety starts here. Before I give authority to any train on my main line, safety starts here. Before I protect the shove, safety starts here. 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 To me, safety starts here uh, means that I'm not relying on somebody else. It starts with me. Safety starts with me and it, it, it depends upon my choices and my actions every day. Safety starts when I get the call. It's a mindset. It starts at your house when you wake up in the morning. As I'm driving down the highway, I'm thinking safety. And when I pull into the driveway and to work, I'm thinking safety. When I roll in the gate in the morning, I'm. I see the safety starts here, and I'm thinking, well, they're talking about me. As soon as you step on the property, uh, as soon as you're in the railroad environment, it's here. We make it happen. We don't want any, any injuries at all whatsoever. Zero. You have to want safety to be safe at work. It comes from the heart. It actually comes from you. I have a family at home that depends on me, so safety is a way of life. I'm responsible for safety. You're responsible for safety. I take it personal because I don't want anybody to get hurt. 
Every day I choose to put on my seatbelt when I get in the car. I choose to put on my safety glasses when I walk out the door. I choose to put on my safety vest before going to a road crossing. Safety ownership should come from every avenue of every individual at the railroad. You need to be safe to be a professional. If you don't work safe, um, you're not going to have quality workmanship. Um, you're, you're not going to have the sense of pride. It's a lifestyle. It's a continuous process every day for me to help out my brothers out here that I work with every day and, and for them to do the same with me. The guys around me are family and that's my, that's what I'm sworn to do is to protect my family. You see individuals performing something that may not be safe, you, you know, ask them to stop, step back for a second, re reassess the situation and come up with a better process to do it. From the small reminder to put on their vest, from the small reminder to make sure your glasses are on, to make sure you have your hearing protection. It's easy to remind people to be safe because we're all a family and nobody takes offense if I correct their action. The company sets guidelines and rules for us to follow and it's left up for us to follow the rules safely. Without safety we're not getting anywhere out here. We need the railroad and the railroad needs us. It's our job to make sure that we perform our, our duty every day safely. If you're not safe, you're affecting the team. And uh, that, could, that could injure yourself or injure anybody. I think for safety starts here to become a success at KCS, we as individuals have to realize that um, we are in control of our own safety. I want to set a good example. I, don't, I want the young guys that follow me and come up to, to be able to enjoy a long career without being hurt. We have a lot of catchphrases and whatnot out here and it's easy to just live by those but it's got to become ingrained in your day-to-day. -day. As long as I'm working safe and I can show that guy how to work safely along the side of me then that guy in turn is going to when he's working with the newer guy he's gonna work safe so it, it doesn't just start here I mean if you can pass it on and it it's contagious it can just keep being built on and built on. There's a lot of ownership in the KCS safety culture uh, from the management uh, down to the employees and the craft. Uh, I believe everybody takes pride in what they do. Uh, everybody generally cares about each other. Uh, we, we like to preach uh, to, to be your brother's keeper around. And um, I think that, uh, that what you hear a lot is, is people, people will say that they, that they uh, want to stay safe. Uh, but what you hear at KCS a lot of is they want to keep each other safe as well. Safety starts here isn't a rule at KCS. As you've just heard from employees in every craft, safety starts here represents both an individual choice and a universal value. We believe Safety Starts Here has the power to change and impact lives far beyond the right-of-way of Kansas City Southern in Kansas City Southern de Mexico. We encourage every employee to look at all aspects of life, including work, home, and leisure time activities, and to put safety at the center of it all. It's going to be a great day on the farm because safety starts here. I know it's going to be a safe day on the water because safety starts here. I know it's going to be a safe trip because safety starts here. Let's go, Dad.